Hi guys, today I have a review on the brand new Urban Decay All Nighter. I have to say, this packaging though, oh my god, this packaging is gorgeous. I died for the packaging. So I am in the shade 4.0 in this. Um, this is a waterproof long wear liquid foundation. It's full coverage, matte finish, oil free. As far as being matte, all the way full coverage. <laughs> Oh my god is this full coverage and I will be showing a demo around here as well as I'm talking just so that you guys can see me actually applying it and actually see it in like its full effect so um, as far as the price point it's $40 for one full fluid ounce that's more or less what Urban Decay foundations run for so I didn't feel like that was you know way too expensive or anything um, what they claim is that it's three times the pigment of their original naked skin and that um, supposedly it's waterproof and that it's a demi matte finish that's what it says on the Sephora website and as always I will have that extra information down below and in the comments section I will have all the shades I am in different foundations so you guys can see that as well they do have 24 shades available so I feel like the shade range is really really nice um, the shades that end in point zero are the ones that are yellow undertone and the ones in 0.5 are supposed to be pinky undertone just like the regular naked foundation as far as the regular naked foundation I will say that this is obviously more natural looking more light while this one is full coverage all the way so when you first um, see these swatch next to each other it's really funny because it almost doesn't look like they're the same shade which is something that is gonna throw a lot of people off here is the all night and here is the regular naked and these are both 4.0 the weird thing about this is that if you wait just a little while for this to dry this will turn into this shade and that is something to watch out for so I would definitely go with your same shade it seems like they took that into account that this turns darker and oxidizes to the shade that it's supposed to be if that makes sense to you so that is something to watch out for um, when you first apply it it just like kind of took me aback like damn this is really light but then as um, you know it dried and I've set it with powder it turned out to be the same shade so that was something a little weird but I thought that I would point that out I have to say with this foundation it's gonna look like you have foundation on I mean this looks like you are done up so this is not something to like for someone who wants it to look natural or anything like that I mean you are gonna look like you have makeup on I mean like you were done up for the night so that is something to take into account this is something that if I was gonna wear it to work I would probably mix it in with a more dewier foundation Foundation, so it looked a little bit more natural a little bit more watery or actually put a little bit of oil in it so it doesn't look as like you know like full face coverage um, this will be awesome for pictures for filming for example if you're gonna go on a cruise you know you want to look pretty for those nights and things like that that's what this foundation is gonna be awesome for or if you're out in the club and things like that as far as longevity on my oily to combo skin I had kind of a weird time with this testing this out the past week if I wear a mattifying um, primer, if I wear a mattifying powder to set it, this does last. Even so, probably around the 8 to 9 hour mark, I do get a little bit of greasy and then I do have to blot. When I blot, the foundation does not come off. So it does last, but I do have to blot throughout the day. So that's something to watch out for. Um, if I don't use a mattifying primer and I do just use like a loose um, translucent powder to set it, oh my god, I become a really oily greasy mess the foundation is still intact but you can see the oiliness seeping through and it's something that I have to really blot a lot to take off that extra oil so I would say if you have oily to combo skin definitely combine it with your best like oil control kind of primer and also a good mattifying powder so um, that's just what happened to me personally this might not happen to everyone as far as normal skin I think people with normal skin are gonna love this just because it is really like full coverage it's gonna give you a great coverage and um, you know you have a skin type where it's not gonna you know latch on to anything as far as with dry skin I think people with dry skin probably you're gonna have to work around this foundation I tend to get really dry around here in this little area right here just naturally the reason that I'm more combo oily and um, it really attaches to those uh, like spots and you can really like 
see it creeping in there. So I would say if you have dry skin, you're going to have to really moisturize a lot beforehand. Maybe put a good moisturizing oil, a good moisturizing primer, and then put the foundation on just so that it glides on better on your skin. Because if not, it is going to stick to those little patches and it's just not going to look pretty. It's going to look really cakey. So that is basically my thoughts on the foundation. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've picked this up. What are your thoughts on it? Overall, I like it. I don't absolutely like am blown away and love and like love it. I would have to say it reminds me a lot of the original Kat Von D Locket foundation that I have where it's like full coverage. It's like very matte. It's going to stay on forever. Um, but it is, you know, something that looks very, very done up. So people are going to be like, damn, she's like you know, full on glam. So this isn't something to wear for every day unless you're one of those people who love that kind of look. So yeah, that's my thought on it. Um, I would love to hear back from you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Um, love you guys to death. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button down below. Love you guys. And until next time, bye guys.